I feel like a lot of the myths were true at that point. And it's really hard, especially in the Linux community, for reputation to go away because reputation is eternal in IT, especially Linux, because we hold grudges, apparently. But when it comes to <laughs> Linux nowadays, I feel like it's equally as easy to use as any other operating system out there. Um, and it might be surprising when I say that one myth is that Linux has poor hardware compatibility. And I, I say it has the best hardware compatibility of any operating system on the market or, you know, market. It's not really a market, but available right. today. In the world. And um, that's actually surprising to a lot of people. But hmm. um, it is something I stand by. Just the other day, you know, my, my son uses Windows 11. I don't, I don't force people to use what I use. I'm not like that. So he... Um, comes to me and he his computer's so slow. I have an extra motherboard lying around. I'm like, yeah, let's just add a new CPU motherboard in, in the computer and uh, maybe an NVMe SSD and really get this thing ramped up. So I installed Windows 11 on this thing. And this computer, this motherboard is not brand new. It's probably older than Windows 11, probably just before Windows 11 came out. And I install Windows 11, that's fine. I go to the device manager, there's 10 exclamation marks for drivers that I have to manually go on Google and find. And it's still the case in Windows 11. And it's funny when people nowadays say that Windows has the best hardware support. I'm like, have you installed Windows lately? Because huh. sometimes you get lucky and, it, and Windows does support everything out of the box and you have nothing to do. But most of the time, probably nine out of 10 times in my case, anytime I see somebody install Windows, they have to search for drivers. Now on Linux, that could be true as well, but you'll probably have on average just one driver to figure out. On Ubuntu, there's literally an app called Additional Drivers. You click on it, and if there's a driver that's necessary for a piece of hardware, it offers you to just click this button and install it, which is actually easier than going on Google or going to the manufacturer's website for your hardware, downloading the zip file, putting it on a flash drive, put it on your Windows computer, and then go right. through that process. Um, now, to be fair, Windows will go on Windows Update and pull down drivers that it has in its database, but there could still be some that it doesn't find. But then you run into the um, chicken and egg problem. How do you have Windows Update download drivers if you don't have a driver for your network card installed yet? And that's when you go with the old sneaker net method where you download the driver to a flash drive from another computer, walk it over to that one, get the network card running so you can hope that Windows finds everything. Yeah. Meanwhile, um, a lot of times Linux won't need a single driver, uh, depending on what your video card is. And that it's actually such a smoother experience than, um, I think the only thing that comes close is Mac, but they own the hardware and the software. So I feel like they have an unfair advantage there. So there's that.